Om Shanti and today we're going to talk about the 17th of May, Godly Blessing. In the complete divine spiritual knowledge of four pages, we get to read in the end the blessing where Supreme Godfather gives us a method to stabilize ourselves and remove any kind of impure, waste, dark thinking, which is draining our energy, making us less powerful, less impactful in our life and in helping others. So let's find out what does God have to say in today's blessing. Baba says, may you finish all waste and claim number one. Waste means why, when, what, how, who. And these thoughts keep on coming to our mind and these questions come to our mind and they link people, situations and things with it. And then the mind becomes more heavier and heavier because we have to think about this world more and more. So God says, may you finish all waste and claim number one by using the right method and become an embodiment of godly success. What does that mean? In the explanation, God says, just as darkness is automatically dispelled with light, in the same way, by using your time, thoughts and breath in a worthwhile way, all waste automatically finishes. So when we are wasting our time in seeing impure things, negative news, <clears throat> talking to people who have got negative views about life and then that time gets utilized in a wrong manner. Obviously the thoughts which come into mind are also impure because of that and the breath. That means every life breath which we spend becomes waste or is gone for waste it has neither given us any power in that kind of time or wasteful time and wasteful thoughts and it has not given us any purpose in life so god says all waste in a worthwhile way all waste automatically finishes when we use the time thoughts and breath in a worthwhile way because to use something in a worthwhile way means to use it for an elevated purpose. That means you are not just thinking about yourself, but you're thinking about yourself and you're also thinking about others around you. Any negative thoughts, impure thoughts in my life, if I talk about it, contemplate about it, that's what is going to come out from my actions and from my words and it's going to have an effect on my family. Those who use everything for an elevated cause Conquer all waste and claim number one. That means if I'm using something for a good use, good purpose, let's see even money, I'm using it in a good purpose, for a good purpose, for the benefit of others, then obviously all waste or all wasteful thoughts attached to it or any thought of using it in a negative way is gone and we don't have time for that at all. So automatically we feel lighter, we feel more peaceful. So how do we want to spend our time? How do we want to spend our mind's energy, that is thoughts? Thinking pure or impure thoughts? And how do we want to spend every moment of our life is what God is trying to tell us. I don't waste it. Use everything, just like we use everything in an economical way in a house. We Make sure that we don't waste anything, whether it's vegetables, food items, whether it is anything perishable. We use everything in a worthwhile way. We make sure that we don't waste anything. Similarly, wasting time thinking impure things, wasting time talking about impure things is like wasting our breath. So we are not accumulating anything. We are spreading negativity, impurity, first in ourselves, then in others. And then automatically we are making other people also more and more impure, more and more unstable, more and more emotionally and mentally weaker. So we are making our life full of sins instead of earning blessings. So God says they are successful in putting a stop to all waste because we are using our time, we are using our thoughts in a worthwhile way. So automatically wasteful thoughts are finished. It's a practice. That's what we practice at Brahma Kumaris. <clears throat> this is godly success. Worldly success, financial success, 
physical success is something separate but this is known as godly success that means in the eyes of god you become successful you're spreading light in the world you're spreading lightness in the world instead of wasting your time wasting your thoughts and wasting your breath those people with occult powers show temporary miracles whereas you achieve godly success by using the right method so somebody could just take out a watch in there and hide it behind and hide their hands behind and suddenly take out that watch in front of them somebody is able to take out even pearls and beads and jewelry from the mouth just by saying and the jewelry comes out in the hand so people become very attracted to it but then they are not getting free from wasteful thinking impure thinking fearful thinking negative thinking they don't get free from that they just think that okay if this person has got the full power to give uh, get a watch out in the hand by just blowing air then maybe through this person i'll get wealth and that wealth is going to make me happy and successful and prosperous but that is not complete prosperity not complete success peace of mind pure thinking through pure thinking peace of mind happiness not because of wealth but happiness because of our karmas is going to last longer than that wealth in front of our eyes even this physical body is going to perish even that wealth is going to perish but our deeds the blessing which we attain from other people is going to carry along for a very long time so which kind of miracle do you want in your life something which is going to last longer or last for a very short period of time think about it and if your answer is the first one then do come and learn that method at brahma kumaris with this om shanti